Hey folks, walk with me. Well, a couple minutes back, I just had the bear cross, in, or a bear cross in front of me. Um, so I imagine he's long gone, but in case you see him in my rear view, um, let's both cross our fingers. All right, we have a little Q and A today. Uh, three questions, I'm gonna try to remember them off the top of my head, but if you see a cut in the video, it's because I forgot a question and I had to look back at it. But if I can remember them to get going off the top of my head, what unpopular opinion do you have? Dead or alive, who's like a dream dinner date that you would have? And if you could do a collaboration with anyone on YouTube, like another creator, who would it be? All right, let's see if I can remember those. Oh, and if you have a question that you'd like me to answer in a future Q&A, just put it in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best. So I don't know if this, this is an unpopular opinion, but um, this is what came to mind. It certainly is maybe a little bit odd and might be very unscientific. <laughs> so we'll go with that. Um, I've often wondered if a lot of the modern science that we have, especially sort of in the biotech medical space, uh, is doing something to totally like screw up or inhibit the trajectory of um, evolution. So if you think of the ways in which our bodies or maybe even our minds or our, our um, social connections or whatever may be sort of trying to naturally evolve, I wonder if there's ways in which we are just totally screwing that up. You know, I, I, <laughs> I often think about this in the context of when I was younger, there was a girl in my class who had, who had had a sixth digit on her hand, I think. Um, like one outside, further outside of her pinky. And so I've had this question in my head for that long since I was in elementary school. Um, and it had been removed. But you know, I, I was just curious at that time and have just continued to be curious around the the concept of well, what if that's what if she's an early sixth digit grower and this is the way that like evolution is trying to evolve us or the the, the pull that evolution has for us and here we are just willy-nilly cutting stuff off inhibiting things um viewing certain things as diseases or or whatever um, or malformations and so we're just sort of getting rid of them and unbeknownst to us we're really just kind of inhibiting or throwing a monkey wrench in an otherwise really good really natural evolutionary plan i don't know hopefully there's no scientists watching this but um <laughs> that's that's one that i guess sort of yeah i don't know if it's unpopular but it's what came to mind okay a dream dinner date, someone dead or alive. I mean, I have to go with someone dead. And my, my thought immediately goes to like long dead, you know. Um, I had like Mark Twain come to mind or Samuel Clemens. I had um, Benjamin Franklin come to mind. I think I actually wanna go with somebody much more recent um, who, had sort of like a probably a a relatively silent seeming impact on me i'm gonna go with anthony bourdain anthony bourdain is somebody who i just really admired his curiosity his seemingly i know this is weird to say given how things ended but his seemingly unrelenting spirit as it pertained to trying to constantly believe in himself and do something for himself that, you know, he, it seemed like he always felt that he deserved something. And I don't mean that in like a, like a crappy egotistical way. I mean that in a way of like somebody who, who obviously had struggles, right? He had all these struggles with narcotics and holding down jobs and um, being, just tremendously in debt and so on and so forth. So obviously he had a lot of struggles, but seemingly he always had something in himself that he believed in and that he wanted to keep trying to 
to find a way um, for better things. And he did in many ways. Um, but obviously some of those struggles still stood the test of time. Um, but his just like immense curiosity is his willingness to like go into crazy spaces. I think of like the Beirut episode, but I mean, even when he wasn't in sort of like an active, like war torn or, or suddenly in, in the throes of conflict space, you know, he went into places where he was inevitably going to run into people who was just sort of like way of life, their ethos would just would be antithetical to a Westerners. And he was very willing to do that and just sort of stayed focused on what was the purpose of what he was trying to do and the ways in which he was trying to bridge the gaps and, and make the most of the voice and the, the creation that he had. Um, and I mean, his storytelling ability and his writing, I mean, just tremendous. And obviously he had passions and he had loves that meant a lot to him. And who's, you know, at, at, at a fundamental level, like in order for someone to be interesting, you know, that's sort of a, um, a, a little bit of a must have, right? It's someone has to have something interesting to talk about. And if they have something interesting to talk about, it's likely that they're passionate about it and that it's something that means something to them. Um, and he, he just had that in droves and had such an interesting uh, spirit and open-minded take on those things. And um, yeah, I would just love to have dinner with him. He was one of those people who obviously I never knew him, but he was one of those people where you heard of like a celebrity death and you know, I've had other ones before. I was like, oh, that's a bummer. Like that sucks. Like you'll never see or hear from that person again, like in real life. Um, but with him, I had this feeling of like, oh man, like I'm losing a friend. You know, and I know it wasn't like a real life friend, but I just, I felt such a strong connection to him um, through the beauty of what he had made. All right, so that's that. <laughs> Sorry, there is a tremendous amount of bugs out here today. All right, the last one, collaboration with another YouTube creator. I feel like there's a few options I could take with this one, but the one that just sort of like keeps jumping out at me, and this very well may be something or someone that very few people are aware of, a uh, content creator called Samurai Matcha. Um, he is from a small village or, or first started filming in a small village in Japan where he was a teacher. He was a minimalist and um, he's since quit his teaching job, I think, and has now started a matcha brand, but still does his, his YouTube videos as well. But he's also done a lot of travel vlogs lately. Um, but yeah, he's Japanese and he's done a lot of really cool videos. He has such a great energy about him. He's like years and years and years and years in to making his videos. And he still has that like, you know, first 10 video energy <laughs> where he just seems so happy and energetic and lively and is, you know, oftentimes just sort of like put something goofy in there that is, you know, kind of self-deprecating because like he knows he's being goofy. Um, and it's just, it's very sincere and it's very heartwarming. Um, and he has really cool stuff to share. I actually just watched a video of his about Japanese superfoods and um, made a list for myself of the superfoods and then looked up like a local Japanese market that I could go to. And I found one within like 25 minutes or so uh, from from where I am and so I'm actually gonna go there tomorrow and see what of these superfoods I can get and then um, I'm gonna give them a shot and see how they are um, But yeah, samurai matcha if you are at all interested in minimalism or Japanese culture um, or watching someone from Japan go explore other cultures and have some 
interaction with them. You know, he's a really good, really good channel to watch. Um, very calming, very just joy bringing, brings the happiness for sure. And um, yeah, I don't know what I would do <laughs> in a collaboration with him, but um, he just seems like he would be a fun person to meet and do a video with. All right, well, we got a little over 10 minute walk in. So that's that if you walked, if you didn't, thanks for watching this far along anyway. I really appreciate it. Be sure to comment below if you have a comment or a question for a future Q&A. And I will see you in the next video.